Hey guys, Libby here. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see behind me, it is another grocery haul video. This is all from Woolworths, no Aldi today, just Woolies. I ordered it last night. Somebody delivered it to me this afternoon and I'm so very grateful that it happened because I had a sick kid last night and this morning I'm feeling tired. I'm looking very run down and tired, but I didn't have to pick up my groceries. Someone else did it for me. And it is so nice to go that this chore that usually I really enjoy doing, but I just didn't have a chance to do it. I just didn't feel like doing it today. Somebody else did it for me. There are definite perks to having things delivered. With that said though, let me show you what I got. Now this haul looks a little bit bigger than what I usually do. And that's because I did it all in one shop. Usually I break down between Aldi and Woolworths, but today it's all from Woolworths. So there's quite a few things here and let's get straight into it. Now you know that I usually spend $200 as a grocery budget and I have been aiming to go under that budget. So this one is actually under $200. I will show you the price right here. As you can see under $200, which is fantastic. And it's something that's really easy to do when you're doing it online. A lot of this, of course, is my usual half price stuff because you know I'm a sucker for a bargain, but this should be pretty good stuff. Some of it will tie us over for a couple of weeks, I'm hoping, as long as we don't go crazy on some of the snacks, but let me show you what I got. You also might notice in some of my previous videos and my previous grocery hauls that I don't get a lot of produce. That's because a lot of my produce was already in the fridge or in the freezer and I've been slowly working it down and I felt like this week I needed to get some fresh. This will probably last us maybe just under a week and I'm more than happy to go and spend some extra money to get us some fresh produce. It's that time of year, it's nearly summer, like I'm talking days away from summer. So that's when the best produce comes out and I am happy to spend some money on us being very healthy. But this time around, I got some spring onions. I use spring onions in oh, just a bunch of things. I just think they're super tasty and they do actually remind me of spring. I find them just beautiful and green. If you notice, it's actually quite a green theme going on here. I picked up some kale. I've got a stir fry planned that um, I think is going to be delicious. And we love kale in our stir fries. I did not grow up with kale. I'm not crazy thinking that kale will cure everything, but... I do really enjoy it in a stir fry and I'm kind of been craving just some fresh curly kale. I got some broccolini that was an all right price. Just note when it comes to my fruit and veg, I am okay with spending a little bit more money to get produce. This stuff, super good for you. And it's taken a really long time for me to kind of be okay with spending money, even though sometimes it feels like you're spending a lot of money it's on stuff that's super good for your body. Like your body needs this stuff. A lot of this stuff your body doesn't need. It's just kind of helpful filler. But this stuff, you need it. So I've had to learn to kind of get over some of my issues. I also picked up two broccoli. It's sometimes weird getting your own produce delivered to you that somebody else has picked. Um, usually they're really good. These broccoli are a bit small, but that could just be because that's the batch that they got. You kind of don't get the luxury of checking to see what size you get when you do online. But you know what? They, they look good. They don't have any blemishes and things on them. So I'm not displeased by them. I've also picked up some rainbow shredded coleslaw. This has got a bunch of yummy vegetables in it. As you can see, I really enjoy getting this mix that's already pre-cut for me because I don't often buy beetroot. Um, and I like to eat my broccoli like this versus just the stalks of it. So... I'm willing to get, you know, the carrots and the broccoli and the beetroot like this. This could go really well either in a coleslaw or I could put it with a stir fry. Very, very versatile and I really like having it on hand. And then just a simple mixed leaf with carrot. I don't know what it is. Just something about having carrot already shredded through. I know logically I could do that. Also, know logically I could probably grow my own produce like this and it'd be so much cheaper. But we're not in that position yet, so we're buying it. Now, I also picked up a bunch of different dairy products and fake dairy products as well. These Gypsland dairy twists, they were on half price. I'm pretty particular about what I eat, like fruit-wise and boysenberry. And I think the one under here is, yeah, watermelon and strawberry. That sounded really cool. Um, I don't really like lemon or blueberry and stuff. I'm just not super into it. So 
I only picked up these two. They're, the only reason is because they were half price. Um, nice little snacking yogurts. These will be for me. This dairy-free stuff. This is obviously for Josh. So I got three oat yogurts. Strawberry is his favorite. And then one big vanilla one. Um, he also got a Fancy Plants chocolate chia pod. As you might notice, I'm a sucker for anything dairy-free that looks kind of fun to eat. I usually will buy it for Josh and he tests out a bunch of stuff. And if we like it, it goes on the list that if it becomes half price, then I'll pick it up again. And this is one of those things that he doesn't mind. Um, this is all half price. This here is my usual, my strawberry sundaes. These are still the best price for size. Um, and still not willing to <laughs> portion them out. Maybe one of these days. I used to have these sipper, oh, I don't know what they're called. But they were like reusable ones of these. I used to have them. I lost the lid. So I had to throw them out. And rather than buy new ones, I've just been kind of doing this. So maybe on my list is something to do soon. I bought some Chobani oat milk. Chobani, Chobani, Chobani. It's my husband's favorite. So I tend to buy that quite a bit. And my usual full cream milk. And as you can see, already been used a little bit. Which is totally fine. That is just how things go when your grocery order comes in the afternoon. Now I picked up some cocktail tomatoes. Hi, I'm a sucker for tomatoes right now. I don't know what it is. I'm just super on a tomato kick. So I'm really excited that with summer coming, the tomatoes are coming out and they're looking delicious. I mean, look how beautiful and red these all are. The last time I've been buying tomatoes, usually a couple of them haven't ripened, but these ones, beautiful. At the back here, I have Louisiana style chicken portions we really enjoy having that. I will put that in the air fryer for like 45 minutes. And it's a super easy snack to just, or lunch, just to have on hand. I really enjoy having that in my freezer. And we completely depleted it. But I'm only buying one this time. Knowing that it will probably be used sometime this weekend. And I'm going to Costco. So I don't want to fill up my freezer right now. Now my Schweppes was on half price. The raspberry is my favorite. You remember I bought that watermelon flavored one. I did not like it. My husband loves it, but my I just, I can't get behind it. I think Schweppes does the best one. Um, they have a great fruit flavor, but I was not game enough to try it this time. After my watermelon flavor, just debacle, I'm just sticking with the raspberry. So I've done that. Now this stuff here is a little bit different. It's not actually part of officially my grocery haul. I've included it in the price, but this is not for us. My son's preschool is doing a hamper um, and we were encouraged to donate some different foods to it. They had a list of things that were available and my son got to pick what he wanted to um, contribute. So he picked the jelly crystals and some lollies. But after seeing it, he really wants it. It <laughs> doesn't matter. We're still going to donate this. It's just something that they're doing for Christmas, which I think is super awesome. And I really want to encourage him to be part of that. So... I just picked it up. Look, it's not the most expensive brand or anything, but um, I know that my kids like it, so some other kids going to enjoy it too. Now, over here is a huge amount of boxes, and they're kind of out of order because my kids keep coming in and messing it around, but they're all the Fiber One 90 calories, and I love them. They were all on half price, so I went and I picked up ones that I haven't tried before, like this donut one. I think there's another pink donut one here too. Yep. This one I haven't tried before. Um, this is my favorite one, the birthday cake squares. I just think they're super yum. These are really nice too, actually. The strawberry ones. Yeah. They're so yum. I absolutely love them. I only picked them up on an on half price. And as you can see, they're on half price. So I, I will fill up my cupboards with them. This will last me probably until February at the latest. And I only say that because my kids are going to see these donut ones and they're going to want to eat them, which I'm happy to share, but I usually will take one of these as a snack for work. They're really small, um, but they're really tasty and I don't feel like I am eating far too much. So it's just, this is a splurge that I like to do for myself. Now over here are some Wheat Bix bites. My sons really enjoy that and they've been getting a little bit bored of the rice bubbles the other cereals that I've bought over the past couple weeks, they're all gone. Rice bubbles is the only one still left, essentially. So I've picked up some Wheat Bix Bites, Honey Crunch. I know that they enjoy them, but it'll be something a little bit different and a little bit less time-consuming for me. 
to have to make up. Sometimes they get wee bit kicks, so it's a nice one to have on hand. You also notice this huge tower of fruise balls. They are all plant-powered balls, super cheap. I think they're even cheaper than the Aldi ones I usually get, but I only pick these up when they're half price, and they have so many different flavors, like raspberry dark chocolate, I think there's peanut butter and jelly, chuck hazelnut, caramel chuck peanut butter. These are the perfect ones to put in my husband's lunchbox. So I will pick them all up and I will divvy them out throughout the next coming weeks. What's great is I think this will probably last me even until January next year. Um, he might snack on them between now and going back to work. I mean, he's still at work right now, um, but he might snack on them between now and, and then and I might not have as many, but it's nice to have like a huge stack going, okay, I've got snacks for you. He also picked up these kettle chips. I am not a chip person. I don't really like potato chips like that. Um, it's just not something I'm into, so that'll be for him and the boys to snack on slowly as time goes by. So definitely a Josh purchase there. All of these um, items, Josh and I will kind of go through together. I will do online and then he'll go through afterwards or while I'm doing as well. And so he gets what he wants and I don't have to worry about like writing down a list. He just gets to put it in the basket and it's automatically calculated at the end. So it's so easy to do. And that is definitely a Josh one. I picked up these Belvedere breakfast, honey and nut with chocolate chips. Um, these are also dairy free. They're super yum. They say they're for breakfast, but I use them just as like an everyday snack. I might slip one or two on my husband's lunch or my kids actually enjoy eating them too so that is something I like to keep on hand. I have a bunch of goods here that aren't really super organized but I picked up a Pix peanut butter. I did get a bunch of peanut butter the other week. Um, I didn't film it. it was the week before the one I just filmed and um, I bought a bunch of peanut butter with that one but Pix is our favorite and it hasn't been half priced for a little bit but rather than buy a huge amount of it like I usually do I only picked up one because we're quite enjoying the other one. Um, I just wanted, really wanted to compare the smooth peanut butter from Pix with the one that we've bought. I don't remember the name of it, but it's super delicious. Um, the canned stuff is from my husband. I made a meal that his mom made when he was growing up, and he super enjoyed it. But he wanted to make sure that we had enough ingredients that if he wanted it again, he could make it really easily. So we needed corn kernels for that, um, and we also have some creamed corn as well. Um, so there's two of those, creamed corn and cr normal corn. I picked up just a simple ramen pack. I don't often do this, but this was half price. And I thought I'll pick it up just in case I get super lazy and I don't want to make lunch one of these days, which I'm glad because I literally had one of these in the cupboard this week, actually today. And I ate it and it was delicious and I have no regrets. So um, sometimes I'll add like some of the extra ingredients here, like spring onions and kale just to kind of make this extra wow. Um, some of the turkey leftover, I did that today. It was absolutely delicious. Highly recommend it. Now, this is something that my husband saw that he was like, I must buy it. Baked beans, Vegemite. Yeah. I mean, how Australian can you get? <laughs> SPC, Vegemite, baked beans. I, don't, I really don't have anything more to say about that. I, I don't know if it's going to taste good. We've never tried it before, so we'll see. Now, we bought... These Supreme Dark Chocolate. These are my husband things. He likes to have dark chocolate on hand. He's one of those people that will like eat a square a day. I'm a kind of a whole block a day kind of person, but he's a square a day. So he likes to have this on hand and I kind of let him enjoy that slowly in his own time. But we bought two this time because they were half price and um, he really wanted the mint. And I always make sure to have extra dark because the kids enjoy eating it with him and if he has two that means he can share it and I don't they're not really big fans of mint and I don't want him to waste it. Now over here we have the Cobb's oven baked puffed cheesy cheddar. Obviously not dairy free, not for Josh. This is something that me and the boys will enjoy. Um, this one is a Josh pick double crunch ultimate barbecue ribs. We still have yet to figure out why that means it's double crunch. It just looks like a very pointy chip versus anything else. I don't know what makes that two times the crunch, but he bought that. That's something that he will enjoy. I like kind of a corn-based chip. 
he likes a potato based chip, so it kind of tells you the difference there. I picked up this cracker mix. He really enjoys the Booja cracker mix. Um, it was half price as well, and I picked up these fruit and veggie whole field bowls. Um, strawberry and beetroot are Arthur's favorite, um, and it could stop him from eating all of these ones. They've got freeze dried strawberries in them, so I'd love to make them, but this is just not in the cards right now. It's just so cheap to buy them like this, so that's what I tend to do. Now, I bought two Posadas as well, but I used one with dinner tonight because that is the way things go. I really desperately needed groceries this week, um, so I couldn't wait for my grocery haul to show you. I also picked up some wholemeal penne and wholemeal spirals. I really, if I'm buying pasta, my preference is wholemeal. I can't always get it, but I definitely try to today. And I also got some wholemeal spaghetti. So this should do me for the next couple of weeks. For some reason, I've been really low on pasta. Um, I haven't been using it as much. Usually we'd have pasta like twice a week, but now we'd be lucky if we have it like once every two weeks, which I think is much better for our bodies. Um, but it meant that I was not paying attention to my pasta consumption and we had no pasta left. So I stocked up on that. I got some bread. This is my favorite high fiber low GI from Woolworths. These ones are a bit thicker cuts. They're probably better for toast, but that's totally fine. Um, and then I bought some wholemeal English muffins, which always a favorite. They'll be really nice with eggs and bacon. And I also bought another, um, foundation which I bought one last week but this one I know definitely works for my face the other one is better when I'm tanned so while I'm waiting to tan up this will work for me did they get me the right one yeah they got me the right one totally good also what I forgot to add here is that I bought a dairy-free shredded cheese but I used it because we had pizza tonight for dinner so it's not here but this is everything that I picked up from Woolworths I'm hopeful that this will be enough. Some of these snacks should last me like a couple of months. So it seems like a lot of snacks, but this is just kind of because it's the season. What I am also missing is a lot of fruit. I did not buy a lot this time. I kind of regret it, but I did not like the prices or they didn't really have the fruit that I wanted. So I will probably have to go in and get some fruit this week. I don't know when. We'll see how we go. Got a lot of yogurt and stuff, and there's some dried fruit that I've got in the cupboard, but also I've got some frozen fruit. So it's not like we don't have anything, I just don't have anything super fresh at the moment. If you like this video, guys, please make sure to thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share the video out. Every time you do one of those things, it super helps me out. I am hopeful that I will get to go to Costco next week and I'll be able to share that video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.